utility plants removal re relocation of overhead electrical infrastructure Lafayette Road. Do you want to talk about that? I can. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, Public Works Department, I was present, met with uh, the representatives of Unitel. This is in regards to that $300,000 last warrant article, last the, uh, the last uh, item on the warrant last year. Uh, they provided us with five possible plans. Uh, and they're just simply drafts. These are not final plans. Um, uh, options one, and I think we gave you plans for all these, 1A, uh, 2, 2A, and 3. Uh, they all do various different things to try to get the lines off of uh, Lafayette Road uh, and either bury them underground or run them behind the buildings uh, to the rear or along the railroad track to the rear. Um, this is just the beginning of the process. We have to look at the other utilities that are involved. That includes uh, the telephone company and the cable company. And uh, the, the group is efforting with them uh, now that we have a preliminary plan of possible alternatives. Uh, they gave us some possible costs, which I think you've all seen. Uh, and, and quite frankly, they're, um, they're guesses at this point because we don't know exactly what this is going to cost at this point. Um, I will tell you that they did tell us certain things. Uh, if they're going to go underground in the town to be required to do all the digging, uh, all of the duct lines would be encased in concrete for the entire length of the duct line, including services to houses, uh, so they can't be dug up and damaged accidentally. Um, that's all going to have to be factored in. Um, all of the manholes, pull holes, cable splice joints, all that material, all of the infrastructure that's underground uh, in, in the form of vaults or con containers of some kind uh, are going to be the responsibility of the town to purchase and install. Once all the work is done, uh, the town will give a deed uh, for all the material to Unitel and they'll be responsible for its maintenance from then on. So uh, you have some preliminary indications of what that cost is. Um, I have a question. Do we have to do anything at this now? No. No, just for your advice that they're they're moving forward. I would rather deal with the waste for the treatment plant now and not. Uh, I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, because if this not, is this costing us any money right now? Well, other than the appropriation that it was, was made. already appropriated. Right. Mm -hmm. Marcy, I'm sorry. The, the only thing I, I, I think is we need, we still, like Fred said, we need to go to the uh, uh, Fairpoint Comcast yep. and get what their, their proposals are too so we have a better got a okay. point what this is yeah. going to be. Right. So, so can I we just move on and leave this right now and just do nothing with well, it? I mean, is that fine with everybody? It's fine with me, but I also want to talk about uh, the uh, uh, the lawsuit. Okay, hang on one second. So I just want to get it on this. Yeah. Just yeah, drop yeah. it. And, 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 uh, and if I may just add, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, that it, it does have courses of action that were presented and they are in the seven-figure dollar range. And oh, yes. uh, every, everybody wants to make their section of town beautiful. And uh, um, th there are some substantial hits on this. And uh, I think you're, you're sagacious in suggesting we put it off for a while. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. There's still work to be done on this to give you the final figures. Okay. 